I'm Oskar Wikström and today I'm here to show you what's in my bag. I've put with the P-Line P2. I've put it with these for like two years now. I just like the stiffness and the good glide they provide me. I also like the stability because I can trust them in the wind too. I currently carry three throwing putters from understable to fairly overstable. I have two P2s. This one has been in my bag since the day I bought it. It is very understable. It's a color glow P2 uh, and I've been throwing it ever since. I love it for understable shots, just hyzer flips. It's not my best shot, but I like throwing them. Uh, this is just a glow P2. It's overstable. I, these don't get much use. I'm not that much of a putter thrower, but when I do use these, they come, come in handy. This is for like flex shots and overstable putter shots. Uh, and this is the kind of new Lux Link. I love this disc. It's just dead straight. I can throw it as hard as I want. It is, it's all that I want from a throwing putter. I currently have five mid-ranges in my bag and this one is a Glow MD4, really beaten. It is just for forehands. I never throw this for backhands. This is kind of my signature shot, if you will, for like shorter, shorter holes. It's a forehand hyzer flip. I can shape all kinds of lines with this disc. I have never actually even practiced that shot. It, it just has come naturally to me. Uh, if I didn't have this, bag, this disc in my bag, I wouldn't be playing as well as I am, am today. Then this is my MD3. Uh, it's also kind of not used that much because it's kind of understable. I just use, use it for backhand hyzer flips and anhyzer shots in the woods. Uh, this is an C-Line MD2. It's an old disc for me. It's from the 2015 Junior Finnish Championships. Uh, this was in my like stack of discs in my porch for uh, three years. I never used this before this season and just found it and it felt great in my hand and I've used it ever since. It has been probably my main throwing mid-range from that day on. Then my overstable mid-ranges. This is a Neo method. I use this for just like trusty wind shots when I need a little bit of stability, but not too much. Also doesn't get that much use. And then my MD5, it's overstable, but not crazy overstable. I've beat it in pretty good. So I can use it for forehand flex shots, up shots, and just anything that I need, I don't need glide on. Just want something I need to dump out. Here are my fairway drivers. Let's go from understable to overstable. This is just a normal stock run C-Line FD. Nothing too interesting, just an understable disc. Use it for highs of flips and sometimes rollers. Uh, this is the retooled version of the FD2. I really fell in love with the retooled ver version. I can, it's kind of like the second run FDs. It's a little bit stiffer plastic, kind of flat and it gives me a good straight disc. It, it just, it, it goes so straight. Just a little bit of hyzer and gonna flip up and right to the right and come back. It's an awesome disc. Uh, this is a C-Line PD. It is uh, kind of like a new addition to my bag, but an old disc too. I took this in my bag this season. It's a 2013 European Open bear stamp. Uh, this was also in the pile of discs that my MD2 was in. And I just found it this year and it has a lot of glide. It's kind of like a longer version of that FD2. And that's what I use it for straight shots that go up to 450 feet. This is a Doombird 1. This actually has a story behind it. I was going to the Estonian Open last year and my friend Thomas Hutianen uh, 
was there with me and I said, I kind of don't have anything to throw with the forehand this speed. And he gave me this one, I, I haven't used anything else since. This is only a forehand disc too. I have a couple discs that I only use for forehands and it's because I like a flat disc for my forehands. But with the backhand, I like some dome and glide. But with the forehand, this flat top gives me a comfortable feeling. Uh, this is a Color Glow FD3. Uh, these are kind of straight for FD3s, but I love them for it. It's not too understable that it's gonna flip on, on me, but it's also not like uh, that overstable that it's going to dump out. I absolutely love this. I had two of these last fall. But then I lost both of those, one in the memorial and one back home in Finland. And I was so happy to get one of these again two weeks ago. And this is my Doombird 2. Uh, this was actually a Christmas present from Jukka. Uh, it's, it's an overstable disc. I, there's nothing more to say about it. I just trust it in the wind and throw spike hyzers with it and anything you need an overstable disc for. Let's get to the distance drivers. These are my bread and butter. I love throwing these and it's the shot I'm the best at. This is my most overstable distance driver. It's a C-Line PD2. It has the bubbles in the rim because it's so overstable that it's hard to make in the correct weight. But it's a mid hook. It doesn't fly very far. It has no glide, but you need, everybody needs a disc like this in their bag. Just when the day gets too windy to throw anything else, I can always trust this disc. This is a more straight PD2. It's not a straight disc in any means, but it's a good overstable disc. It still has some glide, but I can trust the fade. Uh, this gets a lot of use for me. It's just, I don't, when I don't need anything super far, but I need to stay in the fairway, this is the disc I reach for. Just a flat line release and a trusty fade at the end. I would usually be carrying a cloud breaker in this slot in between this DD3 and the PD2, but I unfortunately lost it yesterday and I'm still finding a replacement. But this is just a normal stock run S line DD3. This is a good fairway distance shot disc for me. If I need to still keep something on the fairway but get a little bit further than the PD2, I'll use this. Uh, I'll, I'll just release it on a hyzer and it will slightly tilt over and come back. This disc goes a mile. This is also an S-Line DD3. It is very beat in. Uh, it only comes out usually on forehands or tailwind distance shots but it's an important part of my bag. This is my Glow PD2. These came out to be a bit straighter than the normal PD2. So I used them before I had the DD3s and one stuck in my bag because it was really beat in and I used it for understable shots. This is used also for just like crazy over the tree shots and understable forehands. This is the most understable disc in my bag. This was actually the first in my bag that I ever did. And actually speaking of the bag, this is the Discmania Jet Bag made, made by Grip. I have always used a Grip bag. They are awesome. I just feel like they're the best bag out there. They are just so quality built. They're sturdy. It feels good on my back. I, I don't think I would carry any other bag. Thanks for watching. My name is Oskar Wikström and this was What's in My Bag.